I've started a ton of businesses in the past and the biggest challenge has always been making a custom website. I mean, you need to design it, build it, add contact forms, make sure it's responsive, edit the text, make sure everything works to finally deploy it to your domain. But what if I told you that now there's an AI tool out there that can take care of all of this process without you having to lift a finger. In fact, until today, I didn't even have a website for this YouTube channel. But now when you go to my domain, youraiworkflow.co, I have this gorgeous, fully functional website deployed in just a couple of hours. We've got the hero section with my YouTube trailer autoplaying right here, fully clickable links and functional forms where the submissions arrive straight to my email. We've got my favorite AI tool section where you can search for the AI tool you need or filter them by free, freemium and paid ones. We've got the YouTube insights here with the lovely animation, the most viewed section where you can watch my videos without having to leave my website. As you can see, everything is fully clickable here. We've got the views and the posting date. And if you scroll down, you'll even find the consulting section where I show off the packages I offer and you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and when you click inspect you'll see that the website is 100% responsive and will look great on any device. I've been searching for an AI tool like this for months now and I have finally found it. It is called Ready AI and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So in this video I'll show you exactly how to use it, all of its exciting new features and we'll build my website together so you can follow along and create an amazing one for your project. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to do to create your awesome website is go to Ready AI with my link in the description. I got 20% off for you guys. And then you're just going to sign up and create your first project. Once your project is created, you're going to get directed here to create your first page. In the main section right here, you'll see the prompt box. Here you're just going to type out whatever you want AI to create and it will do that. If you scroll down, you'll see that there are a ton of ready-made templates that you can use. I'm personally going to design something very custom from scratch. Pages ready creates are already 100% responsive, but if you're building a mobile first website, you also have the option to just concentrate on that and pick mobile. So step one is going to be designing a layout of our front page that we can later edit out at any time. And I think the best way to do it is to search for some inspirational images for something that you want that AI can later recreate. I found mine on Dribbble, so just screenshotted it and pasted it into Ready AI. And what I absolutely love about it is that we can tell AI what we are referencing here. So do we like the layout? Do we like the color? Do we like the text? In my case, it's going to be the layout and colors are kind of similar to what I want. And the next step is adding our prompt. I actually just went to ChatGPT and typed out kind of what I wanted and it created this amazing prompt for me. You can pause the video if you'd like to read the whole prompt, but basically we've got the design and style first. I really like the alternating white and black backgrounds and my accent color is going to be purple brood gradient. What I love about Ready as well is that we can add animations straight away so we don't have to add them later. So I wrote down a couple of things here. We've got the scroll triggered fade out. So basically when you scroll up the items will slowly pop on the screen. I also wrote that the buttons should scale up and glow when you hover over them. And then I referenced the structure, so the navigation, what is going to be in the hero section, and I wrote out the sections that I wanted. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it directly with my image and send it to Ready AI. And the first thing you're going to see is kind of similar to Gemini Deep Research. It's going to give you kind of like a plan of what it wants to create. For me, I didn't even read it. I just copied it and pasted it into the chat GPT chat that we had open. And I said, this is the plan from the generator, edit it out according to what I wanted. And it did that and I just copied the answer and pasted it. 
And now it's time to generate our page. So here's actually the first generation we got. It looks great already. To view it on a full screen, you can press on this square icon right here. And this is going to show you what the website will actually look like once it's live. So there are several things I'd like to change here. The spacing isn't quite right in some elements. I'd like to change the text, the icons, and also I'd like to replace this image with an auto-playing YouTube video trailer. Now to make changes, you just going to click escape to get out of the full screen mode and on the right here you could either just type out the changes that you'd like AI to make and it will go through them or you can use the select button and point it to the specific section you'd like to change so for example if I choose the selector click on this image right here I can either change it manually so to upload a link or an image directly from my computer or you can just tell AI that I'd like to change this specific section so here are the first few changes I'd like AI to make. First of all, I'd like to add more space to the hero section. And instead of an image, I'd like it to add this YouTube video as a trailer to autoplay it. And I included a link. You can literally paste any YouTube link right here and it will embed the video for you. This feature is incredible. I also changed the names of the buttons incorrectly. I'll change that up later. And I also added what I'd like to see in the cards section. And here are the results we've got. We have the YouTube video autoplay right here straight away. It changed the buttons, the text. It even added this YouTube logo inside of a button, which I think looks really nice. And I absolutely love how good it is at following directions so you type out exactly what you want and it only changes that without regenerating the whole thing which I find other AI tools do a lot so once you make your first change you're going to see the version history right here at the bottom where you can easily click through different versions perhaps you prefer the previous one you can always go back there so this is how I'm going to show you all of the changes that I made I'm only going to show you the most important ones because I tested out a ton of features for you guys just to make sure it all works. Next we've got the Discover AI tool section. Honestly, I still can't believe it works so well. It didn't take me any time to set it up. So first I just asked it to change the design of the search bar and the filtering tool to look more modern. And now it looks so much better. And then to make it work on the back end, I just sent it a list of AI tools I'd like to feature on my front page. And for each one, I just added the name, the website, and the quick description with the rating and it went in and generated all of these cards for me. It even added the hashtags by itself and when you click view details it sends you to the tool directly. But the most impressive thing is that the search bar and the filtering actually works and all I had to do is to type out make sure the filters work correctly. For example in freemium only show freemium tools and then I wrote make sure the search bar works and that just made it all work on the back end. So now when I type out, for example, a tool for calling, type out call, it filters out that. And when I click just freemium tools, it only shows me the freemium ones. And when I click paid, it only shows me the paid tools. I started working my latest AI workflow videos next. I'd like to change the section to my most viewed ones. And instead of having these three random placeholder ones, I'd like it to embed my actual videos and for people to be able to watch them from here. So this is what I did. I just added the links of the videos that I'd like to replace them with. And this is the first version we got. I think there was just too much going on with the text and the description because the embed already has a ton of text on it so I asked it to remove it and I also changed up the views and I changed the time to a month rather than the posting time and here's the final version we got I am super happy with it it's clickable and you can just watch the videos directly from here if you're enjoying this content so far make sure to subscribe to this channel we're about to hit 10,000 subscribers and I'd love it if you could join us so make sure to hit that button so you never miss another video again let's get back to the video in the partner with me section I completely transformed it I asked it to push the text to the left and add icons instead of check marks and also autoplay one of my videos here and when you scroll down in the AI workflow consulting it 
I love the way it looked before, but it was just a little bit lopsided and the spacing wasn't right. So I asked it to fix that and entered the actual tariffs that I offer. And now I'm so happy with the way it looks. It is so professional. And when you click get started, you get this contact form right here that arrives straight to my email. I'll show you how to connect lead generation in just a second. But to create a form, you just ask AI. So when I click on get started, create a contact form. So as you can see right here, when I click get started in four hours, it says a session type four hour session. And when I click on eight, it says an eight hour session. I didn't even ask it to do it. It just generated by itself, which is incredible. And I've got about your AI workflow section. There's nothing special about it, but I just changed the text. And to change the image right here, you can choose the select button here in the chat. Click on the image and you'll see that you can either upload an image from your website or include a link. So when you click image, you'll see that first of all, you can upload yours. You can remove the background. You can even generate uh, the background and you could also generate a video with AI here. Now it's time to make sure all of the forms on our website actually work. And for this, you need to create a data collection. So when you go to ready right here, you'll see the green data collection button. This is where all of your leads will go and you'll see all of the form submissions. But to actually set it up, you're just going to go to your website and click on any form right here. Then you're just going to enter out any test information and then click submit. And you'll see this prompt right here to create your first data collection. And this is where you can either add a new form or select an existing database you already got. So I just added a new one and I'm going to save it. And now every time someone enters out a form, I'm just going to do this for you now. You get, first of all, an email notification sent to your email. And then when you go to the data collection right here, you'll see that the lead was just added. And we've got all of the contact information, their email, the message, and even the session type right here. Now you're just going to add a couple of finishing touches, like make sure all of the links work and the text is perfect everywhere. And when you're ready to go live, you're just going to press publish and it's going to be the time to add your domain. Now to connect it, you're just going to enter your domain right here. For me, it's yoriaiworkflow.co and then you're just going to go to your domain register and find the DNS settings. And what you're going to have to do is to add an A type record. So you're just going to have to enter the name, which is going to be at the type is A and copy this address right here, this IP address and paste it inside of your domain register and that's all just save that dns record update it and it's connected it took me less than a minute usually takes a website quite a long time to update so now when we go to my domain we've got my website published and ready to go it looks amazing honestly i couldn't believe just how easy this experience was which is why i'm making this video i'd love to know what your experience is with it make sure to comment down below to let me know how it went if you'd like to try out ready ai for yourself make sure to click my link in the description to get 20 percent off and youtube thinks you're going to like this video next. So go ahead and watch it. It's probably another great video about AI tools. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.